What is good in YouTube? Today we have an RU tier match against Mr. I R Original, and this was a pretty good match. You no, know, this is a new RU team I've been trying out. Um, obviously, it does have four Pokemon's weak to ice, which is something I really didn't see at the moment. But uh, you know, I kind of need to switch that up a bit. But for now, it works. You know, it got me a pretty good game, considering he didn't have anything that could really threaten me with ice so yeah uh anyways i'm gonna lead off with my tang girls as he leads off with Claydol. i'm not really sure what he was predicting right here maybe the power whip or the giga drain or something like that so he did go out into his rotom i do catch that thing on the switch with sleep powder which is great um now he has to switch out i'm gonna go for the double switch as he goes into Galvantula, I go into my Rampardos. Um, I am Scarfed, but I'm kind of fearing he is Scarfed as well. So I'm going to go for the safe play and go into my Claydol. He does go for the Volt Switch, which is, you know, uh, us confirming that he is choiced in some sort of way. Not really sure if Scarf or Specs, but whatever. I'm going to go for the Toxic on the Switch. I do catch his uh, Dust 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 snore on the switch and the, the smarter play would have been to stay in and go for the stealth rocks but you know i really didn't want to take the ghost type move so i'm gonna go into my physically defensive wall and this thing is way underrated for ru you know it it, it walls everything in you in ru that is physical basically um, and he was going to go for Pain Split, I just set up a Leech Seed, you know, maybe he was expecting a Switch or something, I'm not really sure. Uh, all my pokes are almost at full health, so there's no really no point of going for the Pain Split. I would have, you know, just switching out directly if he doesn't have the Ice Punch. I personally run Ice Punch on mine, but, uh, you know, that's, that's me and not him, so, yeah. Anyways, he's going to go into Gallade now, I'm going to go for the Power Wave just to get some damage on anything, either if you wanted to stay in or not. And I actually do a pretty good chunk to this Gallade. Um, and now he's going to go for the Ice Punch. Uh, obviously, that's not going to do anything at all to me. It does about um, a third, maybe a little more than a third. But he freezes me, which sucks because, you know, um, I could have, have taken him out on this turn. And um, as you know, the freeze mechanics are, like, so broken because you can stay frozen somewhere between 1 and 578 turns or so, something like that. Okay, I'm exaggerating, but you never know when you're going to thaw out, so, you know, there's not really a good option to keep him alive at this point because, uh, yeah, frozen sucks. And uh, he's going to set up Swords Dance and uh, finish me off with an Ice Punch. That's fine. Um, I got Swellow with Nasty Plot and Thunder and no, no. No, shut up. I'm going to hunt to Swallow now. I'm going to go for the Sod. No way to Wolf take him out, even without the Burn and the, the Flame Orb and stuff like that. Um, yeah, so I'm going to go for that. He goes back into his Dust Noir. I can't hit that with the Sod. And I'm not sure if Brave Bird is going to kill, so I'm just going to U-turn out into my uh, Rumpardos as he goes for the, let's see, what does he go for? He goes for, I forgot, the return, yes, the return, he goes for the return, which is something kind of weird. I was actually fearing that he would go for, like, a sub and then focus punch me because I did see pain split, so I was, you know, sub pain split is actually a pretty good set, but, well, uh, he doesn't have it, so I'm just going to head smash, knowing it's going to take him out from that point because... Uh, 165 base attack, uh, stab, you know, all that stuff. It's obviously going to kill. It's obviously going to kill everything. And uh, now he's going to switch out into his, his Kaboot Tops. And I was kind of fearing this was the weak armor set, so I didn't really want to attack it. Uh, he does go stay in and go for the Waterfall, predicting my switch. But I'm actually going to Sceptile that can outspeed, because I do see the Life Orb. So it's not that set, so yeah. Um, I'm going to go for the Leaf Storm just to catch anything on the Switch, or if you want to stay in, that's fine. And this is my Hit and Run Sceptile because it is Choice Specs with uh, Leaf Storm. 
which is something you don't see very often, but yeah, you know, it, it works, you know, I just took out uh, a, res a Galvantula with a Leaf Storm, and that's the resisted hit. So he's going to switch out into his Rotom now, as I go into my Swallow, I'm going to go for the U-turn, knowing he has to stay the first turn sleeping, and uh, I am going to go back into my Rampardos now, because Rampardos just didn't work today. Um, I'm gonna, and uh, luckily for me, he doesn't get the second turn awaken, which is pretty good. You know, it really didn't make that much of a difference because he was obviously gonna go for the T-Bolt anyways, and I, I could have run in my Sceptile the next turn and go for the Hidden Power Fire, which I do have. And uh, yeah, so I'm gonna take that off, take that out with a crit. Obviously, it did not matter in the least because you know it's. A very strong hit. So now I was kind of hoping he would over predict, but uh, I really wanted to leave this thing to die anyway. So I'm gonna stay in. He does go for the aqua jet, takes me out. But uh, you know now I can bring in my septile and get some late game sleeping going on with the leaf storm. You know I'm gonna hit that with a leaf storm, which will KO obviously from that range. And um, his last guy is. Uh, uh, Craig Dill, no, not a Craig Dilly, um, damn, uh, Claydol, Claydol, Claydol. And, uh, obviously he didn't attack me with his, um, uh, Kabutops, because an Akajet wouldn't have killed me, and, uh, it would just have brought me down to overgrowth range, which would have easily let me one-shot this thing. But, uh, anyways, it does a very big chunk. And uh, he goes for the Ice Beam, and that doesn't even take me out, which was hilarious. <laughs> but uh, yeah, another Leaf Storm will be able to take him out, even if that Ice Beam would have, have taken me out. You know, I still had my my Aphros and my Swellow, and I believe I did have something else. I'm not entirely sure. Uh, yeah, I, I did have my Claydol left. So anyways, it would have been my game. So remember to check out my opponent. The link to, to his channel will be in the description. I've kind of been working on my 100 subscriber special. Um, possibly that will be up next week or so. Like next weekend, probably, most likely. And uh, yeah, I think that's going to be it for today. I hope you guys enjoyed. Leave a like, comment, etc. And uh, see you guys.